All right, this is Captain Jim at one of the uh, best spots we take people to, Cottrell Sandbar. Right behind me is Cottrell, ah, there we go, Cottrell Key. Sandbar is perfect, look at this. Bring your dog. This is one of the best beaches, if you wanna call it that, in Key West, best sand. Best sand, best scenery, no one around to bug you. Lots of wildlife out here. And right next door, right next door to the sandbar, we have a snorkel site right out there with uh, mooring balls, little Cottrell Reef. Sandbar is medium tide right now. You can bring your dog, like I said, walk around. And sometimes you get a visitor. We might have a visitor coming right now. Uh, let's see. Is that Fred the visitor? I can't tell if that's Fred. All right. Just don't grab Fred's tail and he won't bite you. All right. This is uh, this is uh, one of the places we can go to. Most people don't, don't know how to get here. Shallow water's getting in here and we have Hemingway ruins right out there as well. Dolphin playgrounds down a bit further, about a 10, 15 minute boat ride and Key West is in there with the cruise ship. So there you go. What are you doing in the winter right now? <laughs> All right, I'm out. All right, this is one of the best places we bring folks to. This is the Cottrell Sandbar, Cottrell Key Sandbar. Best sand in Key West. Got Cottrell Key over there. We got a snorkel site right next door beautiful clear water it is january 26 today what are you doing in your snow belt right now freezing chapped lips chapped hands uh we got the hemingway ruins out there key west boom seven miles that way big daddies seven miles out in the gulf of mexico and here's the best part are you guys ready for it this is the boat clean boat nice boat powerful boat boom enough room for six look at that you can bring your dog Go out on the sandbar and see how shallow it gets. The sand is baby soft. Yeah, this is the Gulf of Mexico side. And sometimes we get visitors out here. Sometimes Fred comes by. The only tip we give when that happens is just don't grab Fred's tail and he won't bite you. All right. So as you sit in your cube in the snow belt, you can just look at these videos and they'll say, why am I not down in Key West? Why am I in my J-O-B, my just over broke job? Or my C-O-J, my crappy old job. That's what we used to call it. Working for the, uh, working for the government. Anyway, here we are, beautiful day. Again, January 29th, Gulf of Mexico, 80 degrees. Water's about 70, 69, 70. And we're getting ready for sunset. We're gonna go in closer and just sit and watch the sun hit the water and then call it a day. Can you stop? Can you please stop? Don't yeah, most people do not know how to get out here, so you gotta go through us to get here most times. Otherwise, you'll run aground or you just get, end up, get lost and end up in Cuba or Mexico. Look at that dog. All right, we have another day on the water. Just did some dolphin watching out at the sandbar right now. And guys, listen, guys, listen, it's 28 January and it's 80 degrees and the water's about 70. We're looking for Fred right now. Fred usually comes by and gives a visit. He's, uh, he's uh, one of the local native big fish. Just don't grab his tail and you'll uh, hopefully go home with all your arms and legs. Yeah, look at this, guys. Getting ready for the old sunset out at Cottrell Key. This is the best sand in the Florida Keys. Baby soft. But you can only get here by boat. And you got to know how to get here. So who am I? Who is this guy talking? I am Captain Jim. I used to uh, sit inside of a windowless building working 
working in front of a computer and I said enough is enough enough of driving on a beltway and living in the snow belt boom Key West now I get to go out in a boat all day every day well depending on weather but every day go out in a boat look for dolphins and go to a sandbar 